You'll check it out. I'm about to show you how to get more leads and more sales online fast by implementing a very simple strategy. And uh, yeah, this is a complete step-by-step -step guide, so let's dive right into this. What up, what up? Zachary Babcock here with Underdog Empowerment. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to dive right into this, dude. So check it out, man. Um, what the tools we're going to use, we're, this is a brief overall strategy. And what that entails is we're going to create a lead magnet, which is essentially something that you're going to give away in exchange for an email address. Uh, so we're going to create that. And then we're going to set up an autoresponder series to follow up with these leads in our email service provider uh, that's going to lead to a sale or lead to them becoming raving fans of yours. And then we're going to cap, we're going to build the actual landing page on how we're actually going to capture these leads. And then I'm going to show you exactly where to place these on your website and how to drive, drive traffic to these uh, landing pages so that you can capture leads. So the tools that I use for this, we're going to use Canva to create the lead magnet. We're going to use uh, ConvertKit for your email service provider. If you already have an email service provider, cool. Um, if you don't, that's the tool that I recommend. And we're going to use lead pages to build out the landing page. Um, once again, if you don't have uh, a landing page builder, that's what I recommend. If you already have one, awesome. I'm going to link up all the tools that we're going to use in the description below so you can go and review them when you're ready for them. Uh, let's dive straight into uh, building a lead magnet. Now, there's three types of lead magnets that you can build. Well, there's a bunch of them actually. I'm just gonna go over three of them uh, real quick. So one of them uh, would be uh, to give away like an ebook or uh, a short guide in exchange for an email address. Now I wouldn't recommend writing a humongous long uh, ebook, like a hundred and something page ebook, because uh, nowadays people will want something like a quick hit, something that they could consume very quickly, and they don't want it to slog through uh, all of your lead magnet to read it. So give them something that you can offer a quick win and a short, you know, maybe like a 30 page or less uh, PDF file uh, that you're gonna give exchange for an email address. Another one that you could do is like a, a free video series that you host in like a membership site area that they get access to once they give you the email. Um, that's another way that you could go about it. That works pretty well. Um, and it has a lot of perceived value by saying it's a course that you're gonna give them free access to. Um, and finally, uh, one of, another one of my favorites is to offer an email course. Whereas, uh, hey, you opt into my list, here's the lead band, and I'm gonna show you how to get a specific result that they're looking for um, in this series of emails once you opt into my list. So it's like a course within side of a, a bunch of email series that you create in your autoresponder. So those are the three types of lead magnets that I just wanted to quickly go over. There's plenty more, uh, but those work very well. They have for me at least. And um, let's go dive into actually how to create this lead magnet. So let's jump on here on Canva and I'm gonna show you how to quickly create one uh, really fast that you'll be able to put together. All right, this is, we are inside my uh, Canva account. Now, um, what I'm gonna show you, the lead magnet I'm gonna show you how to create is the first one we discussed, which is a ebook or a small guide that you're gonna give away to your audience. Now, um, if you don't wanna start out with Canva or something like that, you could do, I would recommend going with the uh, email course that you give inside of your email so that you can cut down on costs. Canva's like 10 bucks a month or so, I think, or $15 a month, somewhere around there. I'm gonna open up my guide that we currently uh, have and what this is, this is the uh, 24 costly email marketing mistakes. And um, I just wanna show you the cool things that you could do in there. So these are like images. This is just like the first page, all right? This is like a, this is a, like a 20 something page uh, email guide. And it's uh, basically, I'm telling a story right here, uh, sharing why email marketing is so powerful, what it's done for me and my business. And then I share 24 email marketing mistakes that I've made um, or that I've learned from other people and how to avoid them. Um, so how you make this, so you first start off with the right file size. So I like to make uh, my, uh, in, there's no right or wrong way, but I like to make mine uh, 1198 by 920 pixels uh, for the design. And that comes out really crisp whenever you download it to a PDF file size. And then for, for this, you can add backgrounds. You can add, like this is a picture right here in the background. And so it allows you to upload your photos uh, another like the the background like the brick in the here um, and then you can add text by uh, simply uh, coming on here and adding a text and then you can change the font up here really quickly to whichever font that you like you could change the color of the text um, you can uh, also change the size of it uh, if you want to go even bigger you could just type in the size that you want 
Um, you can align the align it obviously uh, to which you know if you want it in the middle, if you want it going off to the side. It does a lot of cool things with the text. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't want that there. Um, so you'd put in there, and then you can add images. They have a lot of free images here, so you can go to Elements right here, and then when you're in Elements, you can search. Um, I put email and then you can search email and then you can even put a filter on there to make sure that you're getting free because it'll say free right here if it's free some of them will cost like this is a premium one it might cost like a 50 cents or a dollar to get um, find some designs you could throw it in there same thing I did with the stop sign uh, you know and then you want to you know give give your uh, lead magnet a name obviously and in your uh, your branding on there and uh, I would direct people back to your website. It's always a great place to hub, uh, the hub for everything. Uh, and then give them a table of contents. So I just got an introduction here, and then I have the email marketing mistakes, and then I have a closing, and then I also have a disclaimer. Uh, obviously, you definitely have a disclaimer on yours. And so in the introduction, what you want to do, for me, what I like to do is I like to uh, share my credibility of why people should listen to me on this topic. And uh, then I like to tell a story which also highlights the pain of having to figure this stuff out to get it to where I'm at right now, which is usually the same pain that your audience is going through, and it helps them relate, and then they want to take action with you if they resonate with the message. Uh, and then you go into the content, and make sure your content's good, you deliver on it. Uh, here I'm giving uh, email marketing mistakes that I've made or that I've learned from other people. And then, you know, when it's net, when it makes sense, you can link to affiliate products that you use. I would highly recommend don't just link in affiliate products if you don't actually use them. And then you go through here, you can put the page numbers. I just put a square block there and then put the, the, the number eight there. It's really easy to put this in there. As you see, uh, it's super, super simple to put together. Um, and then I like to close it out. Uh, with uh, ways that people can get a hold of me. I mentioned the tools that we mentioned in here, which is uh, ConvertKit and Lead Pages, which is what I use and which you'll see later on in this video. It helps make this process a lot easier. And then uh, I also uh, direct people back to my site uh, in case they did, they got this lead magnet without uh, subscribing to my list and they want to check out the email course. And then um, I also say if, you know, if you're interested in podcasting, it's what I do as well. And I have a free podcasting roadmap if you want to check that out. And then a disclaimer, this is uh, to disclaim that, you know, any results that you get or don't get, uh, I'm not responsible for and that uh, I own the rights to this content right here. So really simple. That's how you put together a lead magnet. All right, now that you got your lead magnet dialed in, the next thing up is to actually create an autoresponder uh, series, uh, which is your follow-up emails that is going to nurture your audience and then also it possibly leads them to a sale for them uh, to take eventually after you nurture them through your email uh, sequence. So what I like to use is ConvertKit. That's my email, email service provider of choice. I'm gonna link that up in the description. It is super kick-ass. Um, I, I tried MailChimp before when I didn't even know what the heck I was doing and then I got click funnels for a while and that was just a headache which I'm gonna get more into detail when we talk about lead pages here let's dive into convert kit I'm gonna show you how to create an autoresponder series so that you can nurture your people and get them excited about you and your brand and eventually make a sale all right now once we're here in here in convert kit uh, you have your tabs up here and if you go to sequences you'll see what I'm seeing right now and you can actually build a sequence where when somebody joins a specific list, they go through a sequence. And ConvertKit makes this extremely easy to do, especially with their automation tab. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now we're gonna go into a sequence that I have that we're getting ready to launch, which is the 24 email marketing mistakes to kind of go along with the lead magnet that we're going here. So now that they opt in for the 24 marketing mistakes, we're gonna send them follow-up emails. Now what I did is I actually had that PDF giveaway um, where it gives them the 24 email marketing mistakes and then I also give them an email mini course uh, on email marketing and I show you exactly everything you need to know about email marketing. So what I did here is what you wanna do is you have a series of emails. Now as you see, I have 10 emails uh, going over the course and I spread them out two days, sometimes even four days if there's a lot in here. What you wanna do in the first email is you wanna quickly introduce yourself, uh, build some report, give them their download, and then get, show them what they, to expect. And, uh, and mention any resources where I mentioned ConvertKit here and show them, you know, I, sh I say, hey, over the, you know, we're gonna cover this, all this, you know, how to, you know, three rules for email marketing, five strategies, grow your email list with quality subscribers, seven email uh, lead magnets, 
how to write autoresponder series like we're doing now, and all this. We go deep into this. Um, and so that's what you want to do in the first email. Kind of keep it short if you can. Uh, this is 688 words. And then you deliver each day. And you be very, the key here is to be very helpful in these emails to make sure that you are delivering, uh, I hate the word value because everybody uses it, but very benefit rich emails that are going to help your people actually get the result that they're looking for. And you do that. And then over the course of this, you can uh, recommend products within here, affiliate products, if you if that's what you use to get that specific result. Um, you can also be leading into a sale of your own products and services. And uh, this is just a really great way to uh, to really connect with an audience and to get them to uh, to become a fan of you and to like your shit because you're helping them. And then so after you get the email sequence set up, you can set it easily, you know, when when to send. This is this one's going to go two days after the last email. So this we're on the autoresponders. This is going to go two days after the people get the seven uh, lead magnets. What's also cool what ConvertKit does, what I love about it, is that uh, these uh, if people click these links, uh, I have it set up to where they get added a tag. So they click the lead pages link, which means that I know that they at least took a look and they might be interested. I might want to send them some follow-up content to engage them more about lead mag or lead pages later on. Uh, so it makes it really cool for segmenting your list, really easy interface to use. And then automations, this is uh, the key here. This is really cool. So after you build out the sequence, you'll have to build out the, uh, the form first. So you create a form, all right, and it's really simple. Uh, this one right here, uh, I actually use lead pages, but I, ha I had to create, you have to create a form inside of uh, um, ConvertKit of where they'll join. And you set this up, you just want to give it a cool headline. I would recommend grabbing their first name, email address, and then subscribe. Uh, then you can set it up to where, uh, which I would definitely recommend over here. Um, where is uh, when a visitor subscribes to the form, then it redirects to a page, a special page where I have where I'm telling them to actually confirm their email. And then you also set it up right here. Uh, I would click this box, send incentive email. Uh, this will be sent to new subscribers so that they can actually confirm their email address. Now, that makes it a little bit harder for them to actually join your list, but it's very smart because you don't want just a bunch of people joining your list like bots and shit and just. Uh, you know, it makes it, you know, you, you click on this and write something really quick. Uh, this email uh, will be sent. And, and, and if you look at the contents, it's really, uh, really not nothing much in here. It's just like, hey, before I send the 24 cost email marketing mistakes, got to make sure everything is right. Confirm your subscription. Uh, I'll send you all the goods after you confirm. That way, if they take that extra step, you know there are quality people and that they're probably going to open your emails and be engaged with you. So I would definitely recommend to do that. And then you can send them to a special page where you're instructing them to. And then once they're uh, confirmed, you can uh, send them to another page uh, because they have to, when they click on that link, it has to send them somewhere. And then you'd click save. And then now you can embed this. You can uh, either grab the JavaScript and put it on your uh, website or the HTML, uh, or you can uh, just get the link to share it and send people directly there. Boom, and there you have it. Now people can actually join your email list and then they will get sent. If you connect it to the sequence, they'll get sent that. And how you connect it all is in automations. And this is a really easy tool to use. Uh, so we go to 24 email marketing mistakes. The You set the event here. The first event uh, is, uh, let's click on it, um, is where they join this, all right? And that's uh, where that happens. So when they join that, uh, then you can set an action. Uh, let me click back over here. Uh, I'm going to click on that. Um, you can tag them with 24 email marketing mistakes. Now they're tagged with that. And then when they get tagged, uh, you can you can set the action to where they actually go through this uh, sequence here. And then when they go through the sequence, uh, here's the actual sequence that they, they go through I meant. And then when they actually uh, go through it, then you can remove that tag like I did here. And then you can hit them with a tag, finished email marketing mistakes. And now you have that. So if you want to send follow-ups to people in the future that have went through email marketing, your email marketing course or whatnot, and you want to send them additional stuff about email marketing, might have a new product out or whatnot, you know these people have an interest in it, and then you can send it to them. So it makes it really cool, really unique. 
uh, way about doing that. And this is why I recommend ConvertKit. All right, so technically you don't, you're good. You don't need a landing page tool builder. You don't need that because you have ConvertKit and you built the form and so you're good to go. You can actually send people directly to that form. You can capture the email there. It'll be stored right in ConvertKit and then you'll be able to send them the autoresponder series. However, if you wanna take it a step further like I do when I recommend, I would recommend using an actual landing page tool builder uh, to capture your leads. And the reason why, well, it's kind of a couple reasons why. Uh, one, it's a uh, better, cleaner design and uh, it's also a lot more capabilities. You can also do a lot more, which I'll show you in just a moment. But most importantly, you can get higher conversions by using a really nifty tool on lead pages called the two-step opt-in, which I'll show you what that is and I'll also show you where to place this on your website so that you can get more conversions. So let's dive right into lead pages. All right, when you're inside of lead pages, first off, the reason why I moved off of ClickFunnels to lead pages because ClickFunnels was very limited in my opinion. I couldn't do two-step opt-ins, which I'm getting ready to show you now what that looks like. And also, it doesn't integrate very well with WordPress. So for my case, I need a WordPress website. Um, and I believe uh, anybody building an audience, you do need a real website. And with ClickFunnels, you can't rank for SEO like you can here in lead pages. You can actually rank your landing pages on an SEO on Google. And it's a lot cleaner, crisper uh, look, and it integrates perfectly with WordPress and with ConvertKit. Another reason why I didn't like ClickFunnels was because of the limitations as far as email goes. So inside here, we have uh, landing pages which you can build, which I suggest. So we're gonna to go to email marketing mistakes. Uh, and inside here, you can create a really beautiful design that works great. And uh, I just quickly threw this together, but you can add an image and you can edit it. They have uh, widgets over here that you can add. So you can add a headline like I do here. You can literally just drag it and place another one in there and then you can uh, hit this and you can actually change the text if you need be. You can uh, change the style if you want it to be super big. You can uh, change the color of it and so on. You can change it to be bold or not bold. Um, all that good stuff. And then, so how I would create a lead magnet is I would have uh, an engaging headline, 24 costly email marketing mistakes, which that's gonna rise uh, feelings of maybe anxiety, like, oh my God, what is that? And maybe, uh, you know, a desire to scratch the itch. They wanna know what those 24 costly email marketing mistakes are so that they can avoid them. And then also, and how to get more opens, clicks, and sales from your subscribers. And then uh, give a quick bonus, which I like to throw in there, uh, download the 24 costly email marketing mistakes and get instant access to my email marketing course. And it shows them all the benefits of what they're gonna get inside that course. And then uh, a simple, disclaimer uh, especially if you're running ads on Facebook uh, let it know that's not Facebook site um, and then little contact button all that and this button here this is part of like a two-step opt-in I'm gonna show you where how it's on my pay uh, website because I use it on my website as well but what this does instead of just having the email right here they got to click this because they want the guide and when they click this they're saying yes it gets them into a yes pattern it's something that they want and then when they click that, then uh, then this will pop up. And they're already in a yes pattern. They've already committed once and they want to get this. So I said, where do you want me to send this bad man, my jamma? And then simple as that. And so you can edit this itself by hitting edit integrations. And over here on the sidebar, it'll ask you, uh, you know, integrations, choose where you want the data to go. This is my convert kit. And you click on that and you click the actual form that we created in convert kit where that's going to go. So it knows which follow up email sequence. It's super easy to convert. You just grab the API key on convert kit in your settings. You copy and paste it into lead pages. Then that's it. It's literally a uh, copy, paste, click, and you're done. And then the fields, you can add new fields. I just like to grab the first name, the email address, and you can uh, you know, decide whether it's required, which you check that little box right here. And then the actions, I send them to an external URL, which is on my website where I'm thanking them for subscribing and telling them to confirm their subscription. And then that's that, and then you say, you'd hit save and close. And then when you're done, you'd hit update when you're finished with it all, building it, and then you can click down here and click publish options. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna show you, you know, the domain, which you can con connect your own domain in here, and then boom, you can connect, you can copy that actual uh, link and then send that to people. And then uh, WordPress, they have uh, you know, the, the WordPress plugin, which I'd recommend you could do, which is really cool. Uh, but I just, I just ca uh, capture this code and then I bring it onto my website. So let me show you what that looks like. 
But first, before we go to lead pages, I'm going to show you. So you, you had the landing page, which is cool, but you don't want to put that on your website. Let me show you even a cooler piece. So you go over here to conversion tools, and then you have this uh, this way to do the two-step opt-in. It makes it really clean and crisp for like little buttons on your website. So right now, I'm going to show you the home page above the fold. This is a different opt-in. Uh, but what it looks like, you, you can come in here and design it just like we did with a page, but this is just a thing that pops up when somebody clicks a button on your website, and then you can obviously put in your headline, uh, the reasons to subscribe, and then email thing, click here to subscribe. Now I have the email stuff already right here, because this is, if they click a button, this is going to pop up, and then it's going to be right there for them. So let me show you, uh, let me show you exactly what the, this form looks like, how to use it on your website, the two-step opt-in form. All right, here we are on the website. Uh, this is probably going to look different uh, depending on when you see this uh, video because uh, we're doing a complete makeover, which is going to be pretty dope. But one way is uh, right here above the fold. Uh, you have, uh, I have a little, you know, interesting thing, you know, uh, I help underdog entrepreneurs launch, grow, and monetize top shelf passive income businesses and personal brands. Find out how here and then click on that and voila, that same, uh, conversion tool that we created in, uh, lead pages pops up and see how quickly it popped up. There's no drag time, real clean design works, integrates perfectly with my WordPress site. And then now they can opt into the email list and then they'll be automatically sent through a sequence, a welcome sequence. There you have it. Those are, that's why lead page is pretty awesome. Now let me show you the cool places to put this on your website. Definitely on your website, you want to have a way for people to opt in above the fold, which means as soon as they land on the page, they don't have to scroll anywhere. Like, cause you heard the term bounce rate, you give them a reason to uh, opt in right out the gate. That's a good place. Um, another place would be in your footer, um, which is at, at the bottom of every single page, and you have that, and boom, have another way to uh, opt in right there. Another good place for people to opt in on your website would be your about page. Um, a lot of people uh, don't utilize this, and everybody wants to know about you if they're coming to check out your brand. So, uh, you know, you go through and you talk about yourself, how you got to where you're at. You're telling a story, probably where they're at right now and where they want to be, where you're at right now. And then at the bottom, uh, you can give them a good way to subscribe. And then they hit that, and boom, they join your email list. Another good place would be your Start Here page. This would be like for people that are new to your brand or just getting started out. And whatever that you do in your company or business, you are actually going to uh, help them get some quick wins and show them where to start um, and how to get going uh, with, what are, with whatever it is that you do. With, in my case, it's how to build a passive income business. So I show them how to get started, some clear, uh, quick wins, uh, uh, some recommended tools that I use. And then at the bottom, I have uh, the best I could possibly give you right now is to join the underdog report. Boom, opt-in, bam. That's how easy that is. Uh, some more cool places to put this. Um, so you could do it inside of uh, blog posts even. So um, let's go here to the homepage. These are, are actually podcast episodes. So here's one I did with uh, Neil Patel. And uh, you can also put in a little form right in between as a reading. It's called like a mid, in, in between mid posts uh, uh, for them to join. And this works better if you can relate the content specifically to the content that they're already on. You can also have... Uh, little buttons for them to actually join your email list right here. Here's another one. Uh, so inside a blog post as well. Those are some uh, you know great places to start with uh, placing these on your website. Now uh, let's talk about how to actually drive traffic. All right, now that you got your landing page built, your lead magnet built, your autoresponder email series hooked up, ready to rock and roll. Now, uh, and you also got the lead page put all over your website for people to easily opt in. Now let's talk about uh, sending traffic because if you just have it sitting on your website, you're probably getting a lot of crickets uh, if you're not driving a lot of traffic to your website. So there's a bunch of different ways to do this. Let's talk about some organic strategies and uh, maybe a paid advertising strategy as well. So this isn't all of them, but this is just some ways that you can get started. One is you can make a post on Facebook or on Instagram. If you got the swipe up, you could link directly to it. Uh, but you can make a post like on Facebook and you could talk about you know what you've created um, and make it real short and sweet. The benefit, it's always gotta be about the benefit that the person is gonna get from getting that lead magnet. 
and then you could say, hey, if you guys want to check this out, uh, let me know in the comments, and I'll uh, link it up to uh, link it up for you. And then as people start, yeah, I want your guide on email marketing. Like, cool, I just sent it to your inbox. And what that does by not just linking it in the uh, post, for one, you don't have it linked up in the actual post, so it's not killing your reach on Facebook. And for two, when people comment on there and you comment back, hey, I just sent it to your uh, inbox, now you're getting more and more engagement. Every time we do that, it's getting pushed back up into the algorithm. So that's a hack around that, and you can get some people joining your email list right away. Another way that you could do it would be to do like I'm doing right now, and you could create a, a video on YouTube, rank it up, and drive traffic to your video on YouTube, and then uh, also mention it. it's going to be in the link in the description, like uh, the email marketing guide. It's in the link in the description if you want to know about email marketing. Uh, that's another way that you could do it. You can create a podcast if you're podcasting and give out three of those 24 mistakes that I was getting for an example you could talk about three of them on the podcast You'd be like hey guys I got a complete guide on this if you want to check it out you can go here and I'm also going to give you a mini course on that that's another way to do it um, there's a literally a ton of different ways you could get creative on your social media channels and those are organic strategies for growing your email list um, and then Definitely, you want to get into paid advertising as soon as possible uh, if you're not doing that yet already. Uh, and the reason why, because uh, business really isn't a business until you really start advertising. Uh, you can't just live off of referrals and all that. Now, it's great. You want to be able to get really good at your organic side and paid traffic side. And we're going to go deep on this in another video, but to keep it for this video, um, Dude, find somebody that can run ads, run some content-based ads. Uh, people engage, you know, content that's based around what the lead magnet would be, but you're not offering it yet. And then people that engage with it a certain amount, you can retarget them, and then you can send them some more, possibly, and then eventually ha offer them to actually join your email list by getting this lead magnet. And that would be a great strategy for uh, paid advertising. If you thought this video was fire, man, hit me with a thumbs up. If you thought it sucked, hit it with a thumbs down. Um, if there's anything that you're not understanding or uh, would like like some more clarity on drop it in the comments below I would love to engage with you and uh, hopefully answer your questions or possibly even make uh, videos in the future that'll help you out uh, make sure you hit subscribe to this channel if you want the number one resource for underdog entrepreneurs to build a passive income business and I'm gonna see you guys on the next video